Well, for some people out there, what the DOJ doing here will seem good, but others would say it's not going to make much of a difference because they do and say all these things and they do what they want anyway. Right now, we have the DOJ, though, coming out and saying that federal agents must now seek warrants for stingray use, and it forbids the collection of communications. This is big time in a righteous way because this stops them from rolling through town like a protest and stops casual use and concerted cover-ups of that use. So they can no longer just roll it through town, snatch up everyone's information, text messages, emails, things of that nature, private stuff, and keep it. Uh, and they can't, they can't do that without a warrant. Okay, and not only do they have to have a search warrant now, they have to have probable cause and everything has to abide by the rules of Rule 41 of the Federal Rules of Criminal Procedure. So they've switched things up here and they're saying that obviously the FBI, DEA, or other participants with this technology are not going to be too happy because now there is more guidelines on its use but I just wanted to put it out there for what it's worth this is what they're making official so no longer I mean if you see one of these things out somewhere and seeing see them using them in a protest area casually in the streets or maybe even trying to hide it uh, between buildings or somewhere else they can't have it there unless they have a search warrant probable calls in like it's a crime scene or, or like a, a hostage situation things of, of that nature so we'll see how this goes down, who abides by the rules, who doesn't, and who continues to get caught using this stuff on the people. Nonetheless, that's where it sits. I'll leave a link. Keep you guys posted as I come across more. It's been Dabu7. Peace.